Amitabh Bachchan. Amitabh Bachchan is an Indian actor who works in Hindi cinema. With a cinematic career spanning over five decades, he has played pivotal roles in over 200 films. Born, October 11, 1942, age 81 years, Prayagraj, India. Upcoming movie, Vatayan. Spouse, Jaya Bachchan, M. 1973. Children, Abhishek Bachchan, Shweta Bachchan Nanda. Height, 1.88 meters. Parents, Haravang Shrai Bachchan, Teji Bachchan. Amitabh Bachchan was born on October 11, 1942 in Allahabad, British India, present-day Prayagraj, Uttar Pradesh, India, to legendary poet Haravangsh Rai Bachchan and Teji Bachchan. He also has a brother named Ajitab. He completed his education from Uttar Pradesh and moved to Bombay to find work as a film star, in vain though, as filmmakers preferred someone with a fairer skin, and he was not quite fair enough. But they did use one of his other assets, his deep baritone voice, which was used for narration and background commentary. He was successful in being cast in Sat Hindustani. He got his break in Bollywood after a letter of introduction from the then Prime Minister Mrs. Indira Gandhi, as he was a friend of her son, Rajiv Gandhi. This is how Bachchan made an entry in Bollywood, starting with Sanjir, co starred with his future wife Jaya Bhaduri, and since then there has been no looking back. He married Jaya Bhaduri, an accomplished actress in her own right, and they had two children, Shweta and Abhishek. Shweta is married, lives a non-filmy life, and has two children. Being friends with Rajiv Gandhi got him to decide to run for seat in the Indian National Congress, political party, from his hometown, but had to leave midterm because of controversies, particularly after Rajiv and he were implicated in the now infamous Bofors case along with the UK-based Hinduja brothers. After a four-year break, he was back in the unsuccessful Mridhi 1997, a comeback which the actor wanted to forget. Critics written him off, but his career was saved with Bade Mayan Chote Mayan, 1998, but four flops in 1999 and incurring debt of over 90 crore rupees of his sinking company ABCL saw him at an all-time low. To make matters worse, after the defeat of the Congress party, Bochjan lost considerable political support, the opposition made him a target, and his credit rating deteriorated to such an extent that a leading nationalized bank, Canara Bank, sued him for outstanding loans. He did bounce back, presenting the Indian version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, called Kambanega Karepati? 2000, after a series of hits with Mohabbatin, 2000, Kabi Kushi Kapi Gom, 2001, and Bagban, 2003, and Kaki, 2004, Bachchan is showing no signs of slowing down and proving the critics wrong once again. Amitabh and Jaya were interested in getting their son Abhishek married to Charisma Kapoor, the daughter of Babita and Ranveer Kapoor, they went through a formal engagement, but later broke it off. The former Miss World and Bollywood actress Eshwarya Rai and Abhishek were formally engaged on Sunday, January 14, 2007, at the Bachchan residence in Juhu, Bombay, with the marriage taking place at the Bachchan residence on April 20, 2007. On November 16, 2011, he became a dada, paternal grandfather when Eshwarya gave birth to a daughter in a Mumbai hospital. He is already a nana, maternal grandfather, to Navya and Agastai, Shweta's children. He continues to be one of the busiest actors and singers in Bollywood as well as on TV, as can be seen from the commercials that he appears on, especially on Sahara One. Looks like there are no limits for this superstar and once the angry young man of Bollywood. IMDb Mini Biography by R.A.J.U. The trademark deep baritone voice, the tall, brooding persona, and intense eyes, made Amitabh Bachchan the ideal angry young man in the 1975-84. The son of the late poet Haravansh Rai Bachchan and Teji Bachchan, he was born in Allahabad in Uttar Pradesh. After completing his education from Sherwood College, Nanital, and Karori Mal College, Delhi University, he moved to Calcutta to work for shipping firm Shaw and Wallace. Later, he moved to Bombay and struggled for a while to get his foot in the door of the Hindi film industry. The lanky, dark, and intensely brooding persona did not go down well with directors who were looking for wisecracking, 
Fair Person, the trademark of the Indian hero in the 1960s. Starting with the low-key Sat Hindustani, Bachchan struggled through many roles and was relegated at times to doing voiceovers and in one instance playing a deaf mute. He broke through with Zanjir, The Chain, in 1973, playing opposite his real-life love interest and future wife Jaya Badari. His persona seemed apt for the post-emergency period, capturing the resentment of underemployed youth and the increasing cult of violence. Bachchan reworked the image of the Hindi film hero with major hits like D. War, Sholi, Trishal, Dawn, and Shakti. Adapting former screen idol Dilip Kumar's mannerisms and adding his own flamboyance, he popularized the violent melodrama. He proved that he had an equal flair for tragedies, D. War, Mukhtar Kasikander, Shakti, and comedies, Chup Chup, Don, Naseeb, Amar Akbar Anthony, as well. His most memorable performance was as the renegade against a harsh society in D. War. After Amar Akbar Anthony in which he reveled in the role of the Catholic bootlegger, he played similar masala roles, movies that required action, comedy, tragedy, and romance in one character. This had disastrous consequences later, with movies disintegrating into Amitabh variety shows rather than plot-driven stories. Bachchan was dubbed the superstar, sharing that title with Rajesh Khanna, from 1975. Until the mid-1980s. From 1985 to 1999, he had many flops and people criticized for playing same roles repeatedly. At the height of his popularity he was injured in an accident while shooting for the film Cooley Long Lines of People Prayed for His Recovery at the Breach Candy Hospital, underscoring his megastar status. He left films in 1985 to become a member of parliament from Allahabad constituency as a Congress Party candidate, as a favor to his family friend Rajiv Gandhi, the new Prime Minister of India. A report of involvement in financial irregularities, of which he was completely cleared later, made him decide to step down as MP. His return in 1987 was lukewarm as the Hindi film industry had moved on and newer, younger heroes essayed the part of angry young man with more conviction. Bachchan seemed to have lost his heart in making films as his later roles did not show the flicker of passion that had marked earlier efforts in the 1970s. In 1984, for the first time since 1976, his film flopped and in 1989 three films could not recover their money. In the Hindi film industry a flop is a film that does not recover a distributor's price, not the producer's cost. A series of lackluster films in the 1990s pointed to a long overdue exit, common to many other stars. A seemingly well-thought-out venture to start a production company ABCL landed him in immense debts. Astonishingly, he burst back with a double act. 1. Playing the stern patriarch and 2. Reinventing himself as a brand that in turn, could market anything. He began the latter, by hosting the Indian version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Kaun Banega Korepati. At 60-plus, Amitabh Bachchan is a greater icon than he was at the height of his popularity three decades ago. Amitabh Bachchan was born on October 11, 1942, in Allahabad. He is the son of late poet Haravan Shrai Bachchan and Teji Bachchan. Amitabh Bachchan did his schooling from Sherwood College, Nanital, and later on pursued a degree in science from the Delhi University. His first job was in Shaw Wallace and later worked as a freight broker for a shipping firm called Bird & Company, but his destiny had something else to offer and it was the journey to stardom. He made his debut in the film Sat Hindustani, 1969, which was directed by K. A. Abbas. Film failed on the box office, but Amitabh was noticed by filmmakers like Hrishikesh Mukherjee and Sunil Dutt. Hrishikesh Mukherjee, whom Amitabh treated as his godfather, gave him a role in his two films, Anand and Gutti. Anand was the third film, which became a hit and he got Best Supporting Actor Filmfare Award. Amitabh was getting the roles, but they were not significant. Finally, he got a chance to work in Zanjir, role for which he was not the first choice. Film turned out to be super hit. By then, a new avatar had emerged on silver screen, an angry young man. But this was his one aspect. He was a poet, Kabi Kabi, and decent professor, Kazim Vod. A comedian, Chup Chup, Amar Akbar Anthony, Don, a dying lover, Mukhtar Ka Sikander, that he did almost all kinds of roles. In 1973, 
after release of Zanjir, Amitabh got married with Jayabhadari. He became father at the time of release of Chuk Chuk. During the shooting of Cooley on July 26, 1982, he was injured and admitted to Breach Candy Hospital. The whole nation prayed for his fast recovery and by the grace of God, he was gifted with a new life. Mrs. Indira Gandhi, then PM of India, postponed her foreign trip and visited the hospital. After recovery Amitabh returned on silver screen, with Sharabi and Giraftar like hit movies. In the original script of Kuli Iqbal, Amitabh had to die but Teji Bachchan asked Munmohan Desai to change it for her personal reasons. The last scene where he stands in the balcony and thank the people, was the real scene, a way to thank the people of India, main to Chela Gayada, Lot Ayahun to bus Apki Duan Se. Amitabh also tried his hand in politics in 1984 after the death of Mrs. Gandhi. He defeated the then called Chanakya of the Indian politics, Hambanti Nandan Bahugana, but somehow things went wrong and he got trapped in the dirty game of politics of anti Rajiv Gandhi. Although during this period his classics, Main Azad Hoon and Agni Path, were released, but Amitabh was getting older. Amitabh decided to take a break in 1992. Coup de Gaulle was the last release. He then launched ABCL, which was a multifaceted commercial enterprise. This was the major failure, and he was surrounded by unthinkable debt. This is hard to imagine at that time how he survived, but again he proved that he is not an ordinary man who live and die. With Kambanega Korepati and Mohabatin, he redefined his position in Indian cinema. Amitabh emerged again as a winner and slapped the critics who declared him finished. Even in this age roles are written for him. Every filmmaker is dreaming to cast him in his, her film. He was declared a star of the millennium by BBC Poll, by Stardust and even at the survey for statue at Madame Tussaud. These are not mere coincident. May God bless him. Family. Spouse. Jaya Bachchan, June 3, 1973, present, two children. Children. Shweta Bachchan Nanda. Abhishek Bachchan. Parents. Teji Bachchan. Haravansh Rai Bachchan. Teji Bachchan. Relatives. Aravya Bachchan, grandchild. Navya Navilai Nanda, grandchild. Agastya Nanda, grandchild. Trademark. His baritone voice. Unique manner of expressing resentment towards the establishment in a polite voice. Early in his career, he frequently played individuals involved into crime or unethical activities due to harsh realities of the surroundings. In recent years has started playing lead roles as patriarchs, honest cops or other mentor-like figures. His on-screen characters were frequently named Vijay and Amit, silver gray beard and mustache in all films, post-2000. Intense brooding eyes in serious scenes. A comedian, Chup Chuk, Amar Akbar Anthony, Don, a dying lover, Mukatar Ka Sikander, dot he did almost all kinds of roles. In 1973, after release of Zanjir, Amitabh got married with Jayabhadari. He became father at the time of release of Chup Chuk. During the shooting of Cooley on July 26, 1982, he was injured and admitted to Breach Candy Hospital. The whole nation prayed for his fast recovery and by the grace of God, he was gifted with a new life. Mrs. Indira Gandhi, then PM of India, postponed her foreign trip and visited the hospital. After recovery Amitabh returned on silver screen, with Sharabi and Giraftar like hit movies. In the original script of Kuli Iqbal, Amitabh had to die but Teji Bachchan asked Munmohan Desai to change it for her personal reasons. The last scene where he stands in the balcony and thank the people, was the real scene, a way to thank the people of India, main to Chela Gayada, Lot Ayahun to bus Apki Duan Se. Amitabh also tried his hand in politics in 1984, after the death of Mrs. Gandhi. He defeated the then called Chanakya of the Indian politics, Hambanti Nandan Bahugana, but somehow things went wrong and he got trapped in the dirty game of politics of anti Rajiv Gandhi. Although during this period his classics, Main Azad Hoon and Agni Path, were released, but Amitabh was getting older. Amitabh decided to take a break in 1992, Coup de Gaulle was the last release. 
He then launched ABCL, which was a multifaceted commercial enterprise. This was the major failure, and he was surrounded by unthinkable debt. This is hard to imagine at that time how he survived, but again he proved that he is not an ordinary man who live and die. With Kambanega Kaurepati and Mohabatine, he redefined his position in Indian cinema. Amitabh emerged again as a winner and slapped the critics who declared him finished. Even in this age roles are written for him. Every filmmaker is dreaming to cast him in his, her film. He was declared a star of the millennium by BBC Poll, by Stardust and even at the survey for statue at Madame Tussaud. These are not mere coincident. May God bless him. Family. Spouse. Jaya Bachchan, June 3, 1973, present, two children. Children. Shweta Bachchan Nanda. Abhishek Bachchan. Parents. Teji Bachchan. Haravanshrai Bachchan. Teji Bachchan. Relatives. Aravya Bachchan, grandchild. Navya Navilai Nanda, grandchild. Agastya Nanda, grandchild. Trademark. His baritone voice. Unique manner of expressing resentment towards the establishment in a polite voice. Early in his career, he frequently played individuals involved into crime or unethical activities due to harsh realities of the surroundings. In recent years has started playing lead roles as patriarchs, honest cops or other mentor-like figures. His on-screen characters were frequently named VJ and Amit. Silver gray beard and mustache in all films, post-2000. Intense brooding eyes in serious scenes. Trivia. Was named Actor of the Millennium in a BBC News poll ahead of such luminaries as Charles Chaplin, Sir Laurence Olivier, and Marlon Brando. The first Asian actor having a wax model of his likeness, displayed at Madame Tussauds in London, UK. At the age of 58, he jumped from a height of 30 feet, along with co-star Manoj Bajpai, for his 2001 movie AKS, 2001. According to trade magazine Box Office India, the trend of early morning shows and advance bookings across cinemas in India, started due to craze for Amitabh Bachchan films from mid-1970s. The crowds would start queuing up as early as 5 a.m. in morning even though ticket counters normally opened at 11 a.m. The queues for tickets of Amitabh Bachchan films would even extend up to 2 to 3 kilometers and cause traffic jams on roads. The craze among crowds was so massive that often police had to be called to manage the crowd. Such demand for a star's film has never been witnessed before or since. On October 31, 2006, he shocked the unit of a forthcoming movie shootout at Locandwilla by recording 23 scenes in five hours. Achieving this feat was unheard of. Quotes, I have never really been confident about my career at any stage. Everyone must accept that we will age and age is not always flattering. I wish I had time to learn all the languages of our country, I wish I knew how to play a musical instrument. There are many things that I feel I have missed out on. Referring to Abhishek Bachchan, like any other father, I feel proud to see my son on the silver screen. The amount of things I have been through and the remarkable ways in which the body has reacted is just phenomenal. No wonder I became religious, because you don't know why something's happening to you and you don't know how you bounced back. His thoughts on working in Hollywood, you don't see Indians in Hollywood films around which a story can revolve. As soon as we have a social presence in your society, I am sure there will be many actors from our part of the world that will be acting in Hollywood films. I have always been a great admirer of Marlon Brando, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. I would love to walk into the frame, hold their briefcase. 2000, whether it was in Sets of Anand or Namak Haram, we never bickered or argued or tried to upstage one another in any manner. On the contrary, Kaka doesn't know this, but when I was working in Calcutta and keen to join films, the inspiration to join was Mr. Rajesh Khanna. Kaka had succeeded in Filmfare Contest and I said my God, here is an excellent opportunity where somebody is actually auditioned and here this gentleman who has made it and is doing so well. Then wonder of wonders in two years Hrshida asked to work with Kaka. It was a dream come true for me. 1991, it was a dream come true for me because of there was this great admiration for Kaka and his phenomenal success. The hysteria that he evoked was witnessed for first time in Hindi films. 
and we were all part of that hysteria that followed Kaka. I got famous purely because I was working with Rajesh Khanna. People came and asked me questions like how does he look? So I became very important, thanks to Kaka. I have always maintained that person who is my senior will always remain senior. I have never argued about billings, because I don't think they mean anything, and I have had always greatest respect for Kaka. Rajesh Khanna for me will remain the only superstar in true sense. He appeared in 153 films by 1991 that is in a span of 25 years, which already included 101 solo hero films and did only 21 multi-star cast films. Everyone knows his involvement in music of his films, he was so hard-working that each year, he had minimum three films releasing and still managed to give 95 Jubilee hits. Hats off to him. My achievements are nowhere near him. In fact, I did more multi-star cast films and less solo hero films than him. Once I got success in angry young man genre, I had to stick to it and whenever I tried to do something different it was a failure, so I stayed away from experimenting much. But Kana never bothered about such things. In spite of not working much after 1991, he has done 180 films and am far behind him. I have highest regards for him since the 1965 when I heard about him then my respect only increased when I worked with him until date I regard him as a greater actor. Salary Sat Hindustani, 1969, 5 Indian Rupees 000 <laughs>